Los Miss Mary, when I have sex, I usually experience vaginal tear. I usually experience perineal tear. Los Miss Mary, am I okay? Is this normal? Could you please make a video about vaginal tear or perineal tear after sexual intercourse? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Normally, a lot of us must have heard about perineal tear during childbirth, but some people also experience this vaginal tear, this perineal tear, when having sex, and they are worried about it. So I decided to make a video to educate us on what the causes will be and also how to prevent it from happening over and over again. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, if this is your first time on our YouTube channel and you love our content, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not very amazing. Thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be taking that person's question that asked about um, a tear in the vagina during sexual intercourse. And I'm still going to try as much as possible to simplify it as much as I can. Before I go into details proper, if you are having recurrent vagina tear during sexual intercourse, you are worried about it, you are perturbed, and it's becoming a, con a matter of concern to you, please, I would advise you see an obstetrician or a gynecologist to see your doctor for proper information. Disclaimer, this video is just to enlighten you on the possible cause of vaginal tear and also how to prevent it from happening over and over again. As the name implies, vaginal tear, it simply means that there's a tear, there's a cut in the vagina during sexual intercourse. This person is having a tear, this person is having a cut whenever his or her part, whenever his partner or her partner penetrates into the vagina. That is that. There could be different causes of this vaginal tear. The first one I have to share with you is vigorous or rough trushing of an object into the vagina. Vigorous or rough trushing of an object into the vagina. This object, sorry, might be the penis of a man. Yeah, when it's vigorous during rough or vigorous sex, that can happen or any maybe sex to her or something like that. Trusting like when it's rough or vigorous, they are inserting into the vagina. It is one of the cause of this vaginal tear. Then the second I have to share with you is vaginal dryness. For ladies that don't get wet during sex, for ladies that are always dried around there, they don't get wet, there's no foreplay, that might cause that friction that can result in a tear in the vagina during sexual intercourse. Then the third one I have to share with you is what we call vulvo vaginal atrophy. Vulvo vaginal atrophy in which the vagina, the vulva, is thinner, is thinner, is drier than it ought to be. So that might also be a cause. Then the fourth one I have to share with you is damage to the vaginal tissue. When there's a scar in the vaginal tissue, there's damage in the vaginal tissue. That's my result in it. That scar, that trauma, that damage might be as a result of some surgery or some vaginal radiation therapy can cause it. Then another cause of um, vaginal tear as a result of sexual intercourse is um, medication. So medications such as corticosteroids. Corticosteroids medication can result in vaginal tear. Then the other one I have to share with you is certain skin conditions such as eczema, such as psoriasis. If you are having these conditions around there, it's not just in the skin. If you are around, having it down there, that may result in vaginal tear during sexual intercourse. Remember like I said, if you are having recurrent vaginal tear, please and please speak with your doctor for useful advice and on what next to do. Then in terms of how to prevent it in terms of how to go about the first one i would like to share with you it's having a lot of foreplay before sexual intercourse yes having a lot of foreplay before sexual intercourse will make the lady wet will make the area um, slippery for easy penetration of the object of the penis into the vagina to prevent that friction that might likely result in tear so proper and proper foreplay is very important when it comes to prevention of um 
um, painful sex, yeah, during menstruation and also vaginal tear. Then the other one I have to share with you is use of water or silicone-based lubricants. Yes, using lubricant. For ladies that know that they find it difficult to get wet, it is advisable for them to use lubricants to enable easy penetration. Yes, lubricants will make that area slippery and allow penetration easy for their partner and also for their spouse. Then the third one I have to share with you is that try and also have a planned sex. Yeah, sex activity should be planned in such a way that both partners are not anxious, both partners are not scared. Like that will give room for more foreplay. That will give room for settling down, concentration to ensure that both parties enjoy the sex and also the woman gets wet so that the penis will be able to penetrate into the vagina with no tear. Then the other one I have to share with you is always talk to your partner about the pain. Yes, I know you want to satisfy your partner. You want your partner to see. Always tell them if you are having pain. Always tell them about your challenges. So they know, okay, how to go about So they know how to help you. So understanding and a patient partner will go a long way for you to sort this vaginal tear because when your partner is understanding your partner is patient and you talk about to them about the pain they know okay i need to be more patient with my partner i need to involve her in more foreplay i need to get lubricants i need to do this to make her get away so they tend to be involved in it so they don't get like away from it you're having sex with your partner you're having pain you're trying to like you have to make sure how like it now you are not speaking to your partner about the pain but there is a pain you're just trying to be strong for yourself. That is not really nice. So talk to your partner about it. That is going to go a long way to help. Then the other one I have to share with you is always empty your bladder before sex. Yes, empty your bladder before sex. It's very important, both in terms of reducing STIs and also preventing vaginal tear. Don't also forget, if you are having vaginal tear, I advise you take a warm bath. Yeah, a warm bath before sex to relax the muscles around the vagina. So a warm bath will help you relax the muscles around the vaginal area. So these are the points I feel might be helpful that will help you prevent tear during sexual intercourse. So for those that have been experiencing it and have had solutions to it and you like to share for those that um are still experiencing it, you can drop in the comment section. It will be beneficial if you share this so that they benefit and also apply it. But in all, what I will always say, try and see the doctor for proper guidance and information. Then before I go, I know I advise lubricants. I know I advise you to use lubricants. So people that are using condoms, please don't use mineral oil. Don't use baby oil. Don't use petroleum jelly because these are likely going to affect the condom so this is what i have to share with you today thank you very much for staying to you thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not amazing thank you bye and see you in our next video